Actress and TV personality Marla Maples first came to our attention in the 1990s when her relationship with the now president, Donald Trump, became public. After the couple's marriage ended, Maples chose to raise their daughter Tiffany out of the spotlight in Southern California. Well, now Marla Maples is back in New York City, a busy 2018, taking a little time out to join us this morning. Marla, good to yes. see you. We're best to share some holiday cheer except here with you folks. You guys have a history. Oh, are you kidding? Well, you should no. clarify. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 on Broadway. Yes, on Broadway. yes. You, yes. You, let's you go were, flying, you Will. Were, you were in the Will Rogers Follies. Yes, I was. And, and I, I got to play Will Rogers once <laughs> during, a, during a little cameo. You uh, did so good. It's so much. Anytime you can have Al Roker come on your, your show or anything, you know that you're going to bring the love Amen. level up a lot. Yeah. And, that's, a level, and that's the most like important that. thing you can do is it, just bring the that. love level it, in. It was so much fun. I used to see you around New York City all the time. This will be a first time in five years uh, spending Christmas in New York City. Just a warning, there's a lot of traffic right on Fifth <laughs> Avenue at 56th. <laughs> So just so you know, but anyway. I know how to walk really, really fast. I've got very good at that. Well, so wh wh why now? Why this is so terrific. You're back. Oh, I'm just so happy to be back. Raising Tiffany in California, I think was important. I wanted to sort of get away from the spotlight a bit and have have a chance to have a real good mommy daughter time where she could discover really who she is. And now, you know, she's back in a big way. And New York is has always had my heart. I moved here when I was 20 years old, and I just love how it's a melting pot of people from all over the world, all faiths, all back background, uh, races, all of us together just learning and growing. So I love my city. Yeah. You've had a busy year. You, I know you spent some time in China. You spent some time in India speaking at conferences. What, what, what was that about? That's about getting over empty nest syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's true, isn't Truly, it? Truly, it is so painful. I, I think my daughter Tiffany is watching now. I love you so much. But she can't even begin to understand how hard it is when, you, when you're there with that child for so many years. And then they're, you know, they're growing. She's in her second year of law school. So wow. India was amazing. I got to speak in front of this wonderful group about uh, wellness, spirituality, the importance of our environment. Shot a music video there. What was that like? Oh, they, first of all, you know, it is so beautiful in India. We were up in Mount Abu and connecting with these little kids who have just. This is the video, this is by the, video. the way. Oh, yeah. Part of the video that you shot, yeah. We just got a quick clip out of it. All this happened in October. Um, it's just, to me, it's about how do you spread love? How do you show how interconnected we all are? And the music video is called Pieces of Heaven. You make me want to try yoga, just that yeah. <laughs> So when you, we were talking when you walked into the studio, and we have all of your pictures. Sometimes people get overwhelmed. It's kind of like, this is your life. And you look at all of these pictures from your pageants and your beautiful daughter. We have Donald Trump there at the top. I'm sure everybody's wondering what you think about, you know, Donald Trump. And no, no, no talk. one's asked me anything. No really? one? Wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you right now. <laughs> Did you ever, when you guys were dating, did you ever think that this day would come where he would one day be president? Did he ever talk about it with oh, you? Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Really. It's something we've thought about doing in the 90s, but but I knew how difficult it would be on the kids. I mean, Donnie, Ivanka, and Eric were much younger, and it's it's a big toll. It can take a big toll on kids. It's a whole other world, so, yeah. Your perspective is quite unique, being able to, to sort of watch and listen to, to what we've watched and listened to over the past uh, few years as a country. Has there been a point where you've been surprised by something the president has, has said or done? I just think life is about being ready for anything, you know, mm -hmm. and, and where are you gonna where are you gonna find the positive in all things? And and I choose not to judge anybody else. I don't want to be judged, so how can I judge another human being? I just want to give the best version of myself I can. And I just say to all my friends, um, you know, let's just help lift this world, not bring it down. What if, we can do to lift it. You know, talking about that, you, you practice, you're a regular practitioner of yoga. Is, is it true you do a, a, the headstand? Each? Oh, gosh. Your I Instagram. Just... Here it is. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Jason. Look at this. Uh, Seriously? That's oh, called oh. acro yoga, guys. That was my first time to take a class with this wonderful, talented soul who wants to get, you know, a billion people up in the air. It is so healing and so powerful. Marla, you just keep getting better with time. What's the secret? Is it this? Is it your spiritual journey? Is Everything. It your, what is it's it? It's like, how do you love? Who do you surround yourself with? Yeah. How do you feed yourself with thoughts? With food, you know, what are you sharing back in the world? I believe that's everything. It's it's what do you take in and how do you share it back? 
So I just choose to really surround myself with people of, you know, have beautiful consciousness that want to share. I have incredible friends. And when there's those that come up, you know, challenge, I just do my best to give love back. And you don't always get it back, but you have to do the best you can. And, and you know, living in New York and walking the streets in this day where everyone's quite charged yeah. uh, with their issues, it's more important than ever just to see beyond that. Well, Merry Christmas, Marla. Oh, good to see you. And the best to Tiffany, too. You guys Are have a great kidding? Christmas. Thank you so, so much. Anytime. Marla yes. Maples, ladies and gentlemen. You. Thank, thank you. you. And we'll be right back.